Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about how to use switch statements in DAX to split a range of numbers. As you know, uh, switch works just with constant numbers and uh, can make decision on constant numbers. But now we want to talk about how to split a range of numbers. Uh, for example, when the number is between 1 and 5, uh, label it as green. When the number is between 6 and 10, label it as yellow and so on. Uh, come with me to see how to do this. So, we want to split range of numbers uh, to four parts, for example, uh, and uh, color them in different colors. There is a notice here that uh, our parts has same length here, okay? And to do this, we should at first uh, for a sample range, for example, 1 to 100, that length of this range is 100, and we want to uh, divide it uh, into four parts. We want to split it into four parts. Uh, at first, we should divide 100 by 4, that it equals 25. Memorize this number and we continue on Power BI. Okay, here in Power BI, I imported a table of data that contains some provinces of uh, Iran country and uh, some coordinates that uh, it's not important. And count of, uh, for example, count of patients of COVID-19 there. So we want to color each province by its status and count of patients there. Provinces with lower uh, patients are green and uh, more yellow, more orange, and more red color. At first, I create a temporary uh, calculated column to see what I want to do. Uh, I create a new calculated column. Uh, you remember the 25 number, yeah? I call it TMP equals count count column divide by 25 because we wanted to uh, split this range to four parts. Uh, look here, we have some numbers. Some uh, of these numbers are 0 point, 0 point, and uh, some are, for example, 1.92. Uh, some are two point and some are three point. Uh, because I don't want to have zero, I just uh, plus one the result to have one more here. Okay, 1.4 and here 4.96 here i want to remove the float part of number and uh, keep absolute part of number so i can uh, use int here to keep just integer part of it okay one two three and four so, uh, I converted the range of number to constant numbers. So, uh, I can use this number uh, in switch case and do everything that I want with it. Uh, so, I can here write the switch statement, put what it 
I put what I made in it. Uh, first value one. First result green. Two. Yellow. Now, what uh, we've done is so simple thing, but it's a mathematical trick that if you use, uh, helps you a lot. Orange, and finally, four to red. Uh, we have final uh, value as we have final value as else and we can put red here and apply it see that for one we have green for <coughs> 71 we have orange for 97 we have red and uh, we've done what uh, we wanted okay uh, we can put it on a visual and see it for example on a pie chart we can put a temp on a legend and count of provinces on a value yeah so we have some uh, Red is uh, most repeated for 11 uh, provinces. Orange is next and green and yellow. Uh, we can make a nice thing here by data colors and assigning the right color to each uh, string. Red, maybe better red can be selected. Okay. Orange, green, we don't have green here, so we make green here, okay, uh, and yellow, nice, red point, orange, green, and yellow. Uh, we can show it on map too because we have uh, province data and we can use field map here by putting province and location and putting uh, GMP on the picture. different parts of color uh, with different colors. Uh, thank you for your attention and have a good time.